Okay, there are a couple of ways to do this next step of getting percentages for these figures in the pivot table. Uh, they each have their advantages and disadvantages. I'm going to show you the way that works best for me. Um, I'm going to start by highlighting these, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five rows of data right here. And I'm going to right click and choose copy, then come down right underneath the table, uh, right click and choose paste special and choose values here so that I'll get only the values and not the formulas that produce those values. Then I'm going to do that again right under the table I just created. Paste special, values, and OK. So now I have two copies of this table up here. Uh, now what I'm going to do next is uh, I hit the escape key to get rid of that squiggly line there. Um, I'm going to write some formulas down here based on the values that show up in this table. Uh, so let's start with an equal sign, and I'm just going to use the keyboard because this is a little faster and more accurate for me. I'm going to take whatever's here in, uh, in this cell and divide it by this uh, total at the bottom of the table, just like that. Do the same for uh, the next cell down, equal uh, this number divided by the total. And uh, one more, equal this number divided by the total. And finally for this uh, uh, last column I just want to hit the equal sign and tell it to put down here whatever is in this cell right here. Just hitting enter. Okay, Now that I have that done I can uh, highlight those three cells. I'm, I did that by the way by holding down the shift key at the start of what I wanted to highlight and then uh, hit, uh, pressing the down arrow on the keyboard. And uh, I'm going to copy control C on the keyboard. Um, holding down the shift and uh, using the arrow keys to highlight where I want to copy this to and uh, control V on the keyboard to paste. Okay, So now I've copied those formulas over into, uh, into these cells here. Uh, last thing I need to do is just highlight these, I'll use the mouse now, and uh, change them into neat looking percentages by clicking this percentage icon. There we are. Uh, now what this allows me to do is uh, I can come up here and change the filter variable to, for example, females. Click OK. Um, and get updated numbers up here in the pivot table. I can copy those updated numbers, including the grand total at the bottom, and paste them again as uh, special values, or special values only, into this table. And then the percentages down here will update based on whatever new numbers I plug into this middle table here.